Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. This week's unboxing is coming from Goodwill Blue Box and we have a box from Nashville, Tennessee. If you watch my channel, you know that I have a love-hate relationship with Tennessee. Sometimes they are very terrible and then other times they are awesome. So let's hope for the best. So first look, it looks like we already have something that my sweet little girl is going to love. Lots of, looks like some wood, lots of wood pieces, some shinies here. Let's go ahead and dig in. If you are interested in any of these pieces, be sure to check the description below where you can find my email. You can also check out the links to my Poshmark and Etsy shops. Thank you all so much for participating in our giveaway from last month. This month's giveaway is going to be announced. I'm pretty sure next week we'll go ahead and do March's giveaway. I love doing those giveaways with you guys just to show my love and appreciation for all of your guys' support and knowledge that you guys share on this channel. Please leave a comment if you have any knowledge to share with us. And we'll go ahead and dig in. I like this pendant. Loving the green. Little knot here, not too bad. Tennessee can be really notorious for knots and single earrings. So if you get a box from Tennessee, just be prepared. Take a deep breath before you open it up. All right, I do like this one. I will do this for $5. Our first single earring. Kind of gives me a turquoise look, but these are definitely some form of maybe plastic or wood. You can see the brown on the inside too. So we'll put that, we'll start our little single earring pile. We have some form of twisted wire here. Not too sure. This is maybe a bracelet or maybe it used to be a necklace or a bracelet. It'd be a fun crafting piece, so we're going to put that in a lot box. If you're interested in any of the lot box pieces, you can email me. I will give you a good deal for those. All right, this is kind of giving me like a Brighton look, but I don't see any markings for Brighton. I don't see their B mark. So I'm going to put this one in a lot as well. It's fairly tarnished. Tennessee you get a lot of the tarnished and worn pieces all right here is a piece of the wire I'm assuming that it went along oh, okay this is an earring okay cute cute little wire wrap I love this heart pendant that's funny it's got one like rainbow iridescent bead in there or stone in there. The rest are giving me that hematite look to it. I don't see any markings. I will do this one for $5. Loving those earthy tones. All right, stretchy band. I'm probably going to give this to my niece or my daughter. I always love to share with my little ones. Always like to get them involved. All right, another single earring. Let's get our magnet. The magnet out. All right, it doesn't feel magnetic. It's giving me a little bit of that sterling look. So if it's not magnetic, it could potentially be a precious metal. I will have to do some further testing on that one. Another single earring with the double hoop. I always love those extra details. More earrings. All right, another wire wrap. This one is going to be copper. Don't see any markings on it. Not really sure what. Maybe that was an earring too. Not too sure. I'm going to put it in a lot. This is giving me a little bit of that sterling silver look. It's not magnetic. I don't see any markings. Let's get the loop out. Take a look. All 
And I'm not seeing any markings on that one, so we'll add it to the pile. I'll do some further testing. I'm very interested in getting a metal tester. It tests the gold content in jewelry. If you guys, if any of you guys own that, I've gotten a couple reviews from you all letting me know that you guys love your little, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a little machine that'll test kind of like my Presidium. Um, I love those little machines. It really saves you time and of course money. So you guys let me know if you have one of those. All right, this is loft. I like the tassel, the metal tassels here. It's actually got a little bead in between. And I will do this one for $5. It's in pretty good condition. All right, this one's going to go to Maggie. I might clean up. I have a little girl. She's four years old, so always love to share with her and my boys. But she loves unicorns, so this will go to her. I'll probably clean up those ends for her. All right, little costume, earring. Giving me a vintage look on this one that plastic the glue is a little messy on that it might can be cleaned up but we will have to see lovely jeweled bangle always love to resell a bangle especially if it's got these pretty little details i like the citrine colored stone in there if you're new to reselling don't give up on the Costume pieces, no marks on those. They are still resellable, and I sell a lot of these pieces. I will do this one for $5. I'd love if you could check out my shorts videos. I always appreciate your guys' support with those. They're kind of more fashion-oriented and my thrifting adventures, all things motherhood. I love sharing that stuff with you guys. It's always a lot of fun to bring you guys into my little world. Love this bangle, love the wire wrapping details on there. The metal, like the ends of it doesn't look too scuffed up. Sometimes sometimes those can be pretty beat up, especially if you're wearing them, you're hitting, hitting with your wrist a lot. But this looks pretty good. I don't see any markings again. Let's. It is magnetic, so we're not gonna be looking at any sterling here. But still really pretty design. I will do this one for $5. Okay, we are just in wire wrap central. I like these beads, though. These are really cool, fun design. Let's see if it's not magnetic. Let's give it a good once over. Not seeing any markings. I'm thinking this is a bracelet. Maybe that just hooks hooks on there like that. Maybe a little art project. All right. If you're interested in that one, I will do it for two dollars. Gotta love these. Always reminds me of like a snake or like chain mail. Most likely gonna give that to my niece. Got a little prayer necklace with a cross. It's looking a little beat up, so I'm gonna put that in a lot. All right, added to the earring pile. Another pretty necklace for my little ones. All right, I love these iridescent type of beads. They always sell pretty good. Sometimes I sell them in a lot. Sometimes I sell them, you know, if we've got a couple like this one as well. Let's see if I can get this one out too. Yeah, sometimes I sell these together. This one seems fairly long. All right, marked LC, so maybe Lauren Conrad or Liz Claiborne. I like the purple hues. And I love, again, this like citrine orange type of look on this one. This one's knotted, so they're both going to be fairly long. This one I'm probably thinking at least 24 inches or more, and this one's probably 18 inches. I will do both of these for $5 a piece. You're always gonna find your best deals here on my YouTube channel. 
Always keep in mind when I'm listing on other sites, I do have to increase my price a little bit with the commission for those shops. All right, got a t-shirt hut giving me lots of Florida beachy vibes with this one. I'll do these for $5. Actually, these see $7.99. I'll do these for $3 with those costume pearls. Lovely little amethyst. Almost, I want to say this is a choker. It's definitely going to be tight. I guess you could loosen it a little bit. So maybe collarbone if you want it to be. How cute is that little, little amethyst point there? I'll do this one for $5. I love a choker. They're like one of my favorites. Favorite necklaces. Dainty, minimal. Always love those types of designs. All right, another very elegant, modern looking necklace. I'll do this one for $5. I love the tortoise shell on that one with that light gold look. Both of those are gonna go into a lot. All right, we have a gold cross. Got some etching in there. I'm not too fond of the chain. It's definitely got some discoloration. I don't see any markings on here. I do see some plating going on. I see a little bit of the silver tones underneath. It's a pretty cross. So I will sell the cross for $5. I can replace this chain. I've gotten a handful of chains for my last box. If you saw my last unboxing, we had so many chains. An obnoxious amount of chains last week. And if you haven't checked out my Dr. Lori videos, huge fan of Dr. Lori. Always enjoy having her on my channel. She's always so awesome to learn from. One of my go-tos as a reseller. All right, no markings on this one. Not magnetic. I don't see any markings on it. I'm thinking those are some costume pearls. I don't feel any grit. And as Dr. Lori taught us, looking at the drill hole right there, you can see some of that plating or coating, I should say, on that pearl. So I will do this one for $2. Not too bad for Tennessee so far. Got some sellable pieces. Definitely can make my money back. All right, this is giving me those Y2K, early Y2K vibes. Everybody was wearing these statement necklaces. All right, so it looks like we're all intact. Maybe some scuffs on the beads. So I'll do this one for $2. Right, I like the little flower detail on this one. No marks, but the flower is cute. Almost giving me a copper tone in there, a brassy tone. Another choker style necklace. I'll do that one for $5. I was able to go to the gym show here in the CSRA. I live in Georgia in the CSRA area and they do a gym show every year. We got to go, it was actually today, I got to go with my little guy, um, my oldest AC, and it was such a fun time. I cannot wait to show you guys the shorts videos on those. I will probably end up making two of those shorts videos, so be on the lookout for those. It's always so much fun to go to those shows and to experience it with my, my little ones. All right, lovely statement necklace. Got some wear on the chain. I will do this one for $2. All right, another earring. Little wrap bracelet going to the nieces and the daughter. This one's got a little chip in it, so it's gonna go in a lot. For Tennessee, my lot pile is not too bad so far. All right, costume pearls looks to be broken as well. So we're going to put that in the lot. Hey 
so the rest of these are going to go into a lot. I didn't really see anything worthwhile in here, so that's going to go into a lot. But let's look at these pieces. Loving the W. Thinking that's a W, not an M. Yeah. Love the tortoise shell. Got the gold detailed class with the with the D ring on there. I'll do this one for five dollars. Right, we've got a little bit of maybe moonstones in here. Loving those iridescent look on those beautiful little stones. And the pendant, we do have like a little C stamp down there. But otherwise, I don't see any markings. It's not magnetic. So if you're interested in the Moonstone necklace, I will do it for $8. Beautiful shine to those stones. All right, this looks like a sea star or a sand dollar. I can't quite read what the back says on there. I wanna say maybe it says China. All right, let's see what this one says. Maybe Sarah Coventry? I want to say it says Coven. So, hmm. I'll have to do some further research on that one. All right, this is a pretty pendant, pretty decent chain. Okay, 1928. So I'll do this one for five dollars. Tiny little cross. Thinking this is a plated gold necklace. Pretty little stones in there. Let's test them. All right, no movement on the presidium. It is magnetic. So I'll do this one for $3. All right, another maybe quartz, smoky quartz look. Pendant's got a knot in it, but we can get that out. I'm thinking that's gonna be in the quartz range. Always wanna lay those stones on the table when you're testing them. I'll be better about that throughout my videos. Got a little wrap bracelet. Nice and shiny. All right, we're gonna put that one in a lot. Nice little wrap bracelet on that. I don't think I see any marks. It's magnetic, we're gonna put it in a lot. Got an earring maybe here. A leather band bracelet, or it feels maybe leather, and maybe not. Regardless, it's gonna go into a lot. It's got some wear and tear on it. It's another one that's gonna go to a lot. Ooh, I love the little colorful elephant. Lovely. Hopefully we find a match to that one. More earrings. Oh, okay, so this is going to be a long piece with a little crystal and then more. I'll do this one for $5. All Always love a colorful bead necklace. Beautiful. Looks like maybe a coated or plated clasp there. I'll do this one for $8. Love the beads on there. Another pretty earring. Almost looks like some type of crystal on there. Crystal. 
Christmas something. I can't quite read that. Does look like a little ornament, doesn't it? Some wear on it. All right, this is a nice costume pearl necklace. Got some wear on the metal. So I will think about selling this one. You can kind of see the discoloration on these. Pretty pearls though. Definitely looking at some costume pearls with that one. Right, no markings on the leaf, the gold leaf. Ooh, very magnetic. And we've got some of that silver coming through. Oh, look at the cute little bear and the pumpkin. Those are always fun to resell. And now I do offer bundle deals and I will hold items up to two weeks now. I was not doing that for a little while. So if you're interested and you want to hold those items for a couple boxes and save on shipping, I do not have a problem with that. Okay, these are Chacos. So this must be a wrap bracelet. I'm pretty sure I've seen these in the store for maybe $15. So I will do that one for $5. Earring and a pin. All right, it looks like we have a new with tag. What's that? Belk. Okay, what are they selling it for? 25 yeah, I'll do this one for $8. Looks to be intact. Looking pretty good. I got a star, maybe pendant, or maybe it used to be an earring. Got some pretty rainbow colors on it. Oh, look at that lovely heart earring. This portion of it is magnetic, but this one is not. earrings. I'm going to put that one in a lot. This one looks like it's going to be a layered necklace. Not too bad for untangling. I'll take that. I've right, got a little bit of a tangle going on here. It looks to be three layers, so I will do this one for two dollars. Got the long, earthy, Statement necklace. It's got some swirls on it. I don't think it's got a... Ruby Road. So I'll do this one for $5. Doesn't seem to have too much wear. All right, we have maybe a plastic pendant. Feels plastic to me. Test it on the old Presidium, if I can get it on there. All right, so I'm thinking that's plastic. I'll do this one for $5. Loving this wrapped bangle. Looks like maybe you can shift some of those strands over. I'll do this one for $5. Fun little piece for the girls. I always love these pendants. I saw another one in there. Uh, it looked a little more beat up than this one. It's got a tag, TJ, an American flag. So maybe American made. Love those pendants. I'll do this one for $5. Nice chain on there too. Okay, good works. It's a pretty sturdy necklace there. Good works makes a difference. Hmm. Haven't heard of this one before. It looks to be maybe a prayer on there or a scripture. I'll do this one for five dollars. All right, this is giving me you know those Monet Napier look. No marking on this one. It does look a little beat up. It could just be dirty, so I might need to clean that one up if I'm looking to sell it. All 
All right, this is a nice necklace. It's large, looks like the clasp is gonna be down at the bottom. We've got an arrow. I'm trying to get it over on the shot here. Got the bird, this is really nice. I like this a lot. I don't see any markings on it or tags on it. But it's very beautiful. So, oh, there it is, let's see. Sometimes that cursive is getting so hard for me to read. Plunder. Okay. All right. I will do this one for $8. Love the look on that one. All right, beautiful. Oh, it looks like it's missing, missing some beads there. What a shame. All right, well, that one's gonna go on a lot, sadly. All right, that kind of matched that heart pendant. Little tassels here, kind of giving me almost like a feathered look. I'll do this one for $5. All right, we got a, we got a big boy in here. Got this coral, plastic coral necklace. Very cool, awesome statement necklace. It's definitely gonna be some plastic. No markings on, on the class there. I will do this one for, hmm, I'll do this one for $14. Beautiful, lovely statement. I love when I get like Florida vibed necklaces from Tennessee, it always cracks me up. I get so much Florida looks from them. Or beachy looks, I should say. All right, this is very long. I love the rainbow look to it. It's got some nice gold tones. All right, from the class, it looks like it's going to be a plated piece. Uh, it's not magnetic. So that's good. I'm thinking probably plated, maybe. Yeah, no markings for any sterling on there. But loving the rainbow, very long again, maybe 24 plus inches long. I will do this one for $8. Lots of fun pieces today. All right, this is interesting. Huh, so maybe they just taped it to keep it from maybe like being irritating on the skin. I'm not really sure. It all feels like plastic. And I don't see any markings on this one. I'm probably gonna put this one in a lot. It's looking a little beat up. Again, another fun bracelet, another fun bangle. Like that design on there. I'll do this one for $2. Another iridescent beaded necklace. Let's see. Is there any class? I don't see any class one here. I like it. This is a pretty necklace. It's going to be another really long one. And I like the, the beads on here. They're not, they're not too beat up. There is some scratches on it. So I'll do this one for $5. All right, pretty much down to the bottom. So we're just gonna, we're gonna dump the rest of the box. I always love the bottom of the box. It's my favorite part. You never know what you're gonna find down here. It's always interesting. All right, already a bangle. I'm not too keen on the metal. Definitely has got some discoloration. I like the blue. Kind of like an inlay inside of there, but the metal is fairly beat up. So a lot it goes. All right, we got a name, the initialed bracelets. Very cool back in my day. All right, let's see. I think the other bangle matched this one. So I'll sell those together. I think I want to say I said I would do the other one for maybe $5. So I'll do both of them together for $5. They look very similar with the design and the citrine look. We got a little tortoise shell design and J. Crew. 
J. Cruz always a great resellable brand, and I will do this one for five dollars. Doesn't look like there's a scuff on there. It looks like there was just some some cleaning that needed to be done. Oh, look at this gorgeous cloisonne. Look at the gorgeous little almost like turquoise inlay in there. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I don't think I've ever come across a lighter purple one like that. Always got to check for any nicks on here. There is a little scuff on there, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Maybe a little, little missing on that little turquoise piece. Oh, those are so pretty. I love these bracelets and they're always great for resale. I will do this one for $12. Oh, and there's, there's a matching one. Yeah, the designs look fairly matching. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous. Love that so much. Looks like this one's got quite a few more dents and dings on it. Still wearable though. I will do this one for I'll do this one for eight dollars. Gorgeous pieces. Always love coming across those. Cloisonne bangles. Got a costume earring there. This looks like maybe a Chinese calendar. Giving me a sterling look, but I don't see any markings. Of course, there is this mark in here. I do not speak or read Chinese, so I'm not sure what that's going to say. But beautiful bracelet here. I will do this one for $12. Oh, look at this little cup there. I love all the mini things. And my son really loves these, so it's really hard not to give him. Oh my gosh, and the straw is like flexible. How cute is that? You got you to gotta appreciate the details. But a lot of times those will end up in my son's possession. They like to sneak in here when I get done with my boxes and take their pick out of everything. And I was lucky, my grandma makes jewelry and she used to let me go in and pick some jewelry out too. So maybe that's where the inspiration comes from. Lovely earring, no markings on it. And right, let's look at this metal one. Looks like we got a tag on it. Okay, Monet, I love the chain work on this one. Love that chain. Really cool. I will do this one for $15. i am assuming it's maybe vintage. Definitely giving me like a retro look with the chain design. Oh, these are always super fun to sell. These noisy little necklaces. Got some wear on this one. Fairly dirty. I'll see if I can clean it up. See if it's worth a resell. All right, more earrings. All right, looks like we don't have any markings on this one, but I like it. Another minimal, modern look. I'll do this one for $5. All right, so maybe that's where that um, pen was. Perfect for Easter. All right, we got a twisted bangle. Let's... All right, it's magnetic. Going to the lot. All right, this one looks to be wood. Sometimes I find um, those bovine earrings a lot of the times, but this looks to be wood to me. Rhino. Tassel earring. All right, another TJ necklace. Looks to be that faceted. Costume geode. Pretty design. I'll do that one for $2. Sarah Coventry. Love that plastic. Flower. Very cool design. Loving the colors on this one. I'll do this one for $5. All right. Lovely earring. Got some extra pieces in there. 
That bangle's got some wear to it. Pumpkin earring. I don't think we found one matching earring today. I'm not surprised. A charmed necklace there. Looks to be in fairly decent condition. Another earring. So many earrings. It's crazy. They do, I will say, they always get me collecting more single earrings with Tennessee. That's mostly where my collection has come from. Oh, look at that. Kind of see-through. Ooh, look at this pretty little thing. It's definitely looking to be coated. Let's check. All right, no reading on that one. Pretty ring, though. I'm thinking maybe like a seven and a half. Fits me very nicely. No markings on that brooch. Oh, look at that. Just in time for St. Patty's Day. Let's just get through all these earrings. Right, these look to be connected. This one looks fairly decent. Hmm, I don't think I see any marks on there. Yeah, no markings on that one, unfortunately. Ooh, a lovely tiger's eye. Sure wish we'd found the match to that. Looks like we do not have a match to this one, but it's beautiful. Still a beautiful single earring. If you're interested in this one, I'll do it for five. What do we have going on here? Looks like a star earring, maybe some marking. 925, so we have a single 925 star. Heart earring. All right, down to the last couple pieces here. All right, maybe this is a, oh, we did find the match. We found a match to, to one set of earrings. So if you're interested in that one, I'll do it for $5. All right, looks like a broken 925 necklace. Thinking that's gonna be marked 925. Definitely giving me that look. 925 Italy, it is broken, so I'll have to see if I can mend it. And last but not least, Well, I'll be, I think that says 10K. Are we thinking 10K gold? Pretty sure it says 10K. All right, it's marked on both of these that it's 10K. Let's test it with the magnet first. Let's not get our hopes up. All right, passing the magnet test. I did bring my acid out today. I'm trying to be better about bringing that acid out. All right, here we got my scratching stone. Be fairly careful. This is very dainty. I'm thinking this is for like a tie or maybe a scarf. Okay. Let's test it. That was 10K, right? I have 10K and 14K out. So yes, 10K. All right. Looks like it's passing the 10K there. Check it out. It's pretty good. All right. Let's just test it with the 14 and see. Try to scratch it not on the design. All right, yep, gone. So that is 10K gold. That is pretty good. All right, so we ended up with some gold here at the bottom. It's got some decent weight to it with the clasp. 
you know, both of these ends and then the chain in the middle. I will have to test the chain, but these two have got some good weight to it. So that's a pretty awesome little find there. It's got some of the star design, the etching in it. Very cool. Awesome find. This wasn't, you know, now it's a spectacular box. It's a great box. You can't complain about gold. But we found some really cool costume pieces. We got some cloisonne in here. Got some name brands. So I will not complain. Tennessee, you didn't disappoint. You almost disappointed, but you did not disappoint. Gotta love the bottom of the box. And be sure to be on the lookout for that giveaway in the coming weeks. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a comment. And until next time.